Hello and welcome back. My name is Miss Samantha. If you do not know me, if you do know me, welcome back like I said. Currently during this time, I am making large group and circle time videos, but I've kind of been branching out and doing small group and kind of just learning videos in general to stay connected with my parents, but most importantly, my children in my classroom. I currently teach a classroom of three-year-olds. They're the preschool one classroom, and I miss them so much, and I can't wait to see you guys soon when we get to go back. Today we are going to be doing a science experiment with water and a container and tin foil. We're going to make a boat out of the tin foil and put it in our water and see how many pennies we can put on top before it sinks. Let's get started. Okay, so your first step in this activity is you want to get your sensory bin or container or whatever you're using. So I'm going to use our big blue bin and I'm going to put it in our sink and turn the water on. So fill up your bin until it's ready and then we're going to put it on our table. After you set your water down on the table, you want to make sure you have all your materials close by and ready to use. You have your container of water, you need aluminum or tin foil, and then the last thing you need is a handful of pennies. You're going to grab your tin foil and rip a small piece off and then you're going to make that into a boat. So what I like to do is kind of just fold the edges and then form it kind of around. That way it has a flat bottom and then a space for the pennies to go into. After you finish forming your tin foil into a boat, you can go ahead and place it into your water. I'm going to move you guys into a closer look, that way you guys can see into our bin. Hey guys, as you can see we have a closer look at our boat sitting in our container or our sensory bin of water. So what I want you to do is get your handful of pennies ready and we're going to start counting as we put them in. Let's try it. Count with me. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16. If you look closely, water is starting to come in. 17, uh-oh. 18, we're about to sink. 19, 20, water is almost all the way in it. 21, 22, let's add a few more. 23, 24, 25, and I think 25 made it sink, but we will add a couple more. 26, yep, it sunk. 27, I'll bring you in on a closer look. When you're looking closely at our boat, it has sunken under the water. So see how the water is up here? When I drop it, it sinks down. And look at our pennies all underwater now. They're all underwater. Our pennies sunk it. Look at that. Our whole boat sunk. Okay, everybody, that's it for today's video. We did our science experiment with our tin foil and our container, and we saw how many pennies it took to sink our boats. You try this experience at home and let me know how many pennies it took you to sink your boat. You can either comment below or if you're in my class, preschool one, your moms and dads can email me how many pennies it took to sink your boat at home. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.